Well guys, it's an awesome day out here today, just in the afternoon. We got a couple small jobs to get done. I wanna move some dirt, our silage pits right behind it off the concrete are getting pretty rough and there's some pretty big potholes there. So we're gonna grab the case loader, it's parked in the shed here. We're gonna back that thing out, grab a couple buckets of dirt and uh, start leveling some ground there. And then we got a couple other small jobs to do this afternoon. So let's get at it. behind our silage pits here it was pretty muddy for a while and just driving back and forth here with the loader and the feed wagon tractor it got to be pretty rough back here and there's this massive pothole right there and the dirt kind of sank away from the edge of the concrete there for the feed bunk so we're just gonna grab some dirt with that wheel loader we got a big pile of topsoil and we're gonna lay it out here and try and get this place leveled out a bit so this is a big pile of topsoil when we built the barns over there, all the topsoil needed to be scraped off and uh, we needed a big strong pad there so they scraped it all onto big piles like this. There's another one way behind the barn there, it's quite a bit bigger than this one. We had this one put here so that we could level it all out, there's kind of a low spot here and a low spot here as well. So eventually we're going to grab that whole pile, spread it all out, level it all out here just to neaten this back area kind of behind the barns out a bit, but we're gonna go ahead and take a couple of buckets off of this pile and put it behind those pits there. leave it there for a couple days then we can drive over it a whole bunch with the loaders and the feed wagon and it'll really pack solid and then we can take the little box scraper and really pull it flat now I'm gonna head on top of that pit there and clean up some tires for the last couple of weeks it's just been incredibly windy out here it's been blowing and blowing just completely ripped this plastic up we knew it was kind of bad up here but I had no idea that the plastic blew back this far so Good thing we come up here and check on it, get that plastic pulled back over the silage and hopefully it stays good.
Everything is good at the silage pits there. So now we're gonna head over to the sand room and clean that up. But on the way there, I noticed this Juno was crashed. Just ran straight into the door and stopped there. Got the phone hooked up and we're just gonna back it up and park it back on its charging dock right there. You just hook up to this thing using Bluetooth on your phone. It's got these two metal strips on the Juno itself there and then the two prongs right there. They need to line up, kind of rest on this thing and that'll start charging this Juno. And that's how it knows it's on its uh, charging dock there. Awesome, now we're gonna head back to the sand room. Standing in our sand room here, that's the stuff we put in the beds for the freestyle bar in there. And this is where we keep it just to keep it nice and dry. And it's nice and thawed out in the winter time as well. It's an awesome place to keep the sand, but this sand room in general is getting pretty dirty. So we're just gonna clean it up here. Probably gonna scoop those two things out, drive the old skid steer out, and use this thing to scrape all of the sand here back up onto that pile kind of clean up the walls there a bit and uh, where this box scraper is sitting there's a ton of manure here just kind of falls off after we're done using it and I want to get that scraped into that alley over there too so I'm just gonna get this place cleaned up and make it look a little bit more tidy Got that area cleaned out. It's mostly all sand there, so I just pushed it back up onto the pile. But around this area, a little bit closer to the group pen here, there's a lot of shit on the floor here, so especially right there. So we're just gonna scrape that back into that alley over there. was quite a bit of crap on the ground there. Then it'll just get pushed right into that slot there. Get the old S130 parked back in there. It's pretty awesome to have most of this spring field work done. First hauling the manure, solid and liquid, then doing a bunch of spraying, rolling, harrowing, seeding, all that kind of stuff. We're pretty much done with that for the spring here. And now we can spend a little bit more time keeping things nice and clean uh, and getting some other stuff done that we want. Millie was milking again and she needed my help again to fix something down here. It's broken again, so. We got this little flapper valve and it's kind of broken in there, we think, so we're gonna go and switch it out. So basically what I did there, I just replaced a flapper valve in there that was broken. This is the receiver jar that pumps all of the waste milk from the parlor into the pasteurizer. And it's supposed to go into here. And then down there is the pump and that pump pumps milk up through this pipe right here, up into the wall there and into the pasteurizer in the calf kitchen there. And there's basically a valve down there that lets the milk go up in there, but not back down because the basement is super low and all of the milk will flow from that pasteurizer back down into here if there's not a valve stopping it. It's basically a one-way valve. This is the old one, it's supposed to be connected, but it broke and that's why it wasn't working anymore. So we grabbed a new one, put it in there, and it's now good. It's the next day now, and we're gonna bring some close-up calving dry cows into the barn. We're gonna put them up onto the straw pack here. 
And these are cows that are three weeks off calving and we just want to get them in here so that they're used to the area before they start calving. And we also got to give them some vaccines and some other stuff. So we're going to have to run them through that chute right there. So what I'm going to do right now is open this alley up, lock those cows. Those are other close-up cows that are already in here. I'm going to put them on the straw pack there, lock them up so that these new ones can just walk on this alley here. And then we can bring the new ones from outside down here, run them through that chute, and then put them back in here. So this is our dry cow pen. We're gonna sort out six cows from here. Hey, come on ladies. We got the six cows in the chute here. We're gonna run each individual one through there. And we're gonna be giving them two different vaccines. The one is JVAC, it's to prevent mastitis in the milk cows. This way hopefully we can use a little bit less antibiotics for the milk cows. The second vaccine is called ScourGuard and this should prevent that cow from getting as sick or at all. And this is also gonna help us use a little bit less uh, antibiotics. shots from today's video were from this big slough right here they call it rice lake but it is just a glorified slough it's really salty the water is not clear at all it's just disgusting water but uh, if you guys were curious that's what it is anyway that is going to be it for today's video guys if you enjoyed be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below check out the instagram at sas dutch kid and i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching